Praise Lord, everybody. This is Elder Clark. We're about to start service this morning. Um, are there any spoken prayer requests? You that are on the conference line, we can't hear you on the streaming, but are there any other spoken prayer requests on the conference line? Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are there any other spoken prayer requests? Amen. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Dear gracious God, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for all that you've done. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We thank you for being a healer. We thank you for being a way maker. We thank you for being a heart fixer and a mind regulator. Father, we bless your mighty name. We bless your everlasting name. God, we thank you for all that you've done. Father, we thank you for your healing virtue. We ask that you would heal, God, that you would move by your power divine as only you can. Oh, God, we ask that you would heal. Remember those that are in the hospital, those that are in the convalescent home, those, God, that have been affected by the virus, God. Let your healing virtue flow, God. Remember the workers that are uh, the hospital workers, the EMS workers, the police, the firemen, God. Remember them in a special way as well, oh, God. We ask that you would heal, deliver, set free, keep, God. Keep your so great a people, God, as the apple of thine eye. Lord, we ask that you would bless them coming in and bless them going out. Father, we ask that you would show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong, O oh God. We ask, God, that you would beat back the hand of the adversary, O oh God. Lord, be our provider. Be our healer. Be our doctor. Be our way maker. Lord, we thank you for that. We're not going to wait till the testimony, but we thank you in advance for all that you've done, but all that you're getting ready to do. Father, we ask that you would show yourself mighty God as only you can. Father, we thank you. You said in your word that if we're faithful over a few things, you'll make us ruler over many. Father, we we thank you for that. We praise you for it. We magnify you for it now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, you can turn to Romans chapter 8 for our scripture reading for today. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. And we're going to start with verse 27. Romans chapter 8, verse 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. 29, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Verse 30, moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called, and whom he called, he also justified. Whom he justified, he also glorified. Verse uh, 31, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? 32, he spared not his own son, but delivered him up to us all. How shall he not then also freely give us all things? 33, who shall lay anything to charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. We're going to jump down to 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded 
that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. We thank you for uh, the hearers and the doers of the word of God. At this term, we turn the further of the service over into hands of our pastor, Bishop Shedrick Clark, Sr. We do thank God for all of his goodness and, and all of his kindness. And we, we want to realize that we have to trust him. We have to know beyond a shadow of all doubt that God can help us. We live in the last days and many things are happening. This is the worst disaster that ever happened to the human family that everywhere it is touched. There is no nation that has not been tempted to experience there's nobody experienced right. knowing how we need God. No place, no nation have not experienced what's going on today. It may not come now, but they're afraid that it's going to trust more than what it is. So everybody has it, this thing. But it takes somebody that will be able to experience the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the will. He is our soon coming king. He knows beyond a shadow of all doubt that we need help. You can't buy it the medicine that God has, he has the wherewithal to heal. If you can heal him, he can turn your situation around. We we'll want to be ready when Jesus comes. The world has tried their method. The world is trying to. Yeah. I said sometimes that we do not realize what really is transforming that we need to hear from God. We should take whatever it takes to get something from God. Thank you, Jesus. We do not have what it takes. We do not know what it deserves to get his attention. I don't know what we have to do. He's the only one who knows what it takes Hallelujah. to Thank help him you, today. Jesus. And don't take it for granted that we know everything. We try to turn the situation around. There is no need for us to feel that we can do it ourselves. There is no condemnation. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. And it reads thus. There is therefore no condemnation. There is no condemnation. To them which are in Christ Jesus. To them Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh. And walk not after the flesh. But after the spirit. But after the spirit. Your only hope is the Spirit. You cannot have no Spirit less than of Christ. Your money can't buy it. There's no silver that you can get the true responsibility of Christ. We need what God has. Yes, Lord. We need his help in this. Yes. 
We need his silver. We need his gold. We need all that God has us. And I, 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 I do not fuss or quarrel with the world, with the world system. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, they can do it. But nobody can do you like the Lord. He knows how to deliver the godly. He knows how to give us peace. He knows how to keep us in the sunshine. He knows how to give, give us in the valley. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh. We need somebody to help us. Hallelujah. Who is going to help us? Who is going to be able to take us through the valley of the shadows of death? The shadow is there, but who is going to take us through? He said, well, there is no, there is no condemnation to them that, that follow after him. Verse number two. For the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life. Is in Christ Jesus. Is in Christ Jesus. Have made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, if this fails. You've got to find out what is acceptable in him. Yes, if we do die, there's life after death. But the main thing is your life has to change. If you do not have the spirit of the living Christ, Hallelujah. you're living beneath your privilege. All right, read verse 2 again. For the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Have made me free from the law of sin and death. A life of sin and sin and of death. Read. For what the law could not do. In what the law could not do. In that it was weak through the flesh. It was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son. His own son. In the likeness of sinful flesh. We need somebody going to need to help us. We need somebody going to go before God. We need somebody to take away the burden of what our father Adam have done. Yes, sir. We need help that only God can do. Hallelujah. We need help to return you, this situation around. He said, now take all your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Who were willing to plead our cause? Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Who was able to turn the situation around? Yes. Jesus. Who was able to bring Thank us through the Lord. storms of life? Jesus. Who was able to plead our plea, to plead our situation, our judgment and our situation? Who was able to go before yes, us and plead our Thank case? Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. If you don't have it, then you're outside in the cold. It's bad to die and have no place else to go. You can go to Jesus. He can change your situation and give you life forevermore. The, the young people that said, now, the, the, there's the law. You not don't have the power. You don't have the strength. You don't have the wherewithal to plead the fall. You have nobody to look after us. We need somebody to help us. Hallelujah. We need somebody that got, got, got the wherewithal to bring us out of this darkness. And yes, Lord. We need to go to God. Yes, sir. Thank you, We got to go to somebody that has got to connect with God. The devil is in behind this, but God got the answer. The devil is trying to destroy, but God is still our burden barrier. The Lord is the one that helps us when the storm is raging. We yes, have trouble Lord. today. The oh, world Jesus. is upside down yes, looking for help. The world is trying to plead its case and have no relationship with God. But thanks be to God Hallelujah. that gives us the victory Thank you, Jesus. through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus knows how to deliver the godly. Jesus know how to bring yes, us out Lord. of situations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus is able to give us strength when we're going uh -huh. down. Thank He's able Jesus. to turn upside down and bring us victory and deliverance. 
Oh, my friends, I want to hear him say, well done. The Lord has already given you a chance. You may not know this. In Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1, and it speaks of, of, of how did the Lord already to, had to have a, a, a situation to touch the throne of God. And the Lord, according to the Lord, has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, in verse 1, verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, Paul, apostle of Jesus Christ, chapter 1, read, by the will of God, by the will of God, to the saints which are in Ephesians, the in Ephesians to the faithful in Christ Jesus, faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you, grace be to you, peace from God our Father, peace God our Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God of Father. Blessed be the God and Father. And of our Lord Jesus Christ. And our Lord Jesus Christ. Who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Blessed with all spiritual blessings. In heavenly places in Christ. And blessed places in Jesus Christ. According to as he hath chosen us. According as he has chosen us. In him before the foundation of the world. According to the foundation of the world. That we should be holy. That we should be holy. Without blame. Without blame. Before him in love. Before him in love. Now, now remember this here. The Lord has chosen everybody. You were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. The Lord given us to make a choice. Yes, Lord. What is your choice? Hallelujah. He has chosen you in him before the foundation of the world. And we should be holy without blame before him in love. Now remember, he has chosen you. Now this thing, now think what we're going through. Look what the Lord is doing. The Lord has chosen us in him before you were born. He chosen you in the foundation of the world that we should be holy. Now we have to be holy. Now look at it now. When you come into this world, you're unsaved. What's going on? He's chosen you. Now it's up to you to make choice of him. Now you uh, you you got a, a, you got to make a choice. See, you can never say that God is unrighteous, that He's unholy. He's yes, not Lord. taking responsibility for us before Him in love. Now, He chose you when you come forth this world. You're born sinner, and look what He does. He chose you and He gives you a choice. I set before you. I set you good. And bad, good and bad. Now, if you don't accept him, then you'll never be able to be enjoy what God is already pressing. That already God is choosing. That God is trying to get you beyond the shadow of death and disappointment. But you got to make the right choice. I set before you good and evil. What is your choice? Well, uh, now remember. He already, the Lord, I've chosen you already. But I got to first let you make choice. See, you have to make choice. Cause you can never say God is unfair. He's a righteous. Yes, Lord. And a wonderful Savior. Yes, he is. Now, it's up to you to make a choice. Yes, sir. Here it is. You must be born again. Now, remember, he's already chosen you before the foundation of the world. But you got to make a choice, and the devil said, "I can make him. Uh, I got a good example. You have, uh, uh, you, you have um, uh, Job. Job. Uh, do you ch serve God for no? Take him. God said no. Now turn, get it straight. Let us turn to, uh, uh, to the, to the man." Job, Job is the man. Job, the 
it's such a, a, a wonderful thing. Let, let me get that Job. It is Job, it's, Job it's, chapter 1? Yeah. Job chapter 1. All right. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright. And one that feared God and eschewed evil. Right. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. Right. His substance also was 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 she-asses, and a great, very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men in the east. Right. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, right. every one his day, and right. sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them and rose early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Mm -hmm. Thus did Job continually. Mm -hmm. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, yes. and the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in all the and in, in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and eschewed evil. Yes, now you, you, this man had all the blessings of God uh, a human being could have. Now look what the story says, and and and. And, and Satan said, uh, uh, it, uh, uh, do you think he, he jump on you for no? Uh, do, uh, do, do you think he could give the cause of so-and-so and this here? He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. You let me at him, and I'll make him curse you to your face. Yes, sir. Now, remember now, Joe had no reason to let him have the test and trial. He allowed him to go through the test and the trial. He let him to go through all the challenges. And I'll make him curse you to your face. Now, Job, he believed God would take care of him. Now, I would say, well, I ain't did nothing wrong. Some, some, some ran and lose his confidence, but the Lord didn't expect him. Job believed that God is a good God. What do you go through? I'm going to let her test you. And I'm not going to tell him what I'm going to do. do you, he, 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 he chew you for nothing. His friends, all of them say you did it for dog for this and for that. But look what little Job did. He said, the Lord give him. And he, did, he said, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me add him. Mm -hmm. I'll make him curse you to your face. Yes, sir. Now, the first part... Job was touched was with everything he had. He took away his, 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 his children. He took away his, his property. He took away all that Job had. And Job never charged with the Lord with foolishness. Why didn't he come? Because he knew that he didn't do no wrong. He, it wasn't evil. It was going through a test that God set up for him. Yes, sir. Make choice of me. Yes, sir. Now, he's going to let you go through it because he wants to know, do you love me enough to go to what I, and believe me, I believe God can keep you. Hallelujah. I believe God can make a way for you. Thank you, Jesus. Job went through the test and trial with all of God, and he come to the conclusion. Job began to question God. And the Lord said, well, let, let me help him out. Let me help Job out a little bit. He said, and Job cursed him. Then he told us, why are you doing this? Why do this here? And the Lord said, well, you talk to me, I'll talk to you. The Lord talked to Job. He asked Job, where were you? Come on, Bishop. 
when I opened this? Where were you when I did this? Where were you then? And I've always proven that God is always right. Hallelujah. God has never done anything wrong. Thank Talk, you. Bishop. There is nothing that God ever does wrong. He said, uh, let, let me, let me. And then the Lord, Joseph, I'll put, he put his hand over his mouth. Uh, said, the Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. Then he said, I talk too much. I, I can't blame God. God is always right. I, I don't, if, if he takes, whatever he takes, he knows what he's doing. Yes, sir. He said he put nothing on you, no more than you're able to bear. With every situation, every situation of life, I'll take it and make a way for you. Make let God make a way. Let Him be your provider. Oh, let Him be the one. Yes, sir. Let Him give you power and strength. You, you find out, Job is, your, Job is your perfect example. He said, "I'll never leave you. Yes, I'll sir. never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll bless you. I'll keep you. I'll make life wonderful." You. This convinced uh, nineteen. Is making a mess out of the people. Don't get mad or angry with God. He's still in control. Hallelujah. Whatever God allows, we Thank still you, trust Jesus. Him. Come on, Bishop. When Thank God you. let the tests and trials come, will He stop? Well, suppose you ease off and you go into death. He said, Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. He'll make a way for you. He said, I open the windows of heaven and pour your strength out. Thank yes. you, Jesus. And, and all rest of those that are taken out, he said, don't worry, I'll take care of you. Yes. I'll provide for you. The Lord knows, and the Lord knows how to deliver you. Let the Lord bless you. Job and the Lord realized God will take care of you. Remember, the, the, the thing is set that you might live, Hallelujah. Listen, I mean, not die. And if you die, Thank you nothing wrong with dying. You got someone to go. Hallelujah. Don't die without no place to go. The Lord is still in charge. Remember, the world is in trouble. If you don't know the Lord, you better find out where he is. It's not over. Okay. Yes, Lord. It hasn't stopped. Yes. The, 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 the situation in life is still online. Because God is still in control. Do you love him enough to say, yes, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. He knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. He knows how to keep you from falling. Yes, he knows yes, how to yes, give I'll peace in your home. Right. Yes. He knows how to oh, yeah. take that oh, off. He knows to raise you up. Oh, yeah. He oh, said he'll put no more on you than he am able to bear with every temptation. He'll make, make a way to escape. The Lord is our provider. Yes, the Lord so. is our security. The Lord is our deliverer. The Lord is our rock. The yes, Lord is yes, our yes. deliverer. Yes. Thank He's you, our Jesus. soon coming king. Hallelujah. He's coming. He may come more sooner than you think he is. He is coming after us. And remember, be ready. Be ready. Whether you go up or whether you go down. Make sure you're able to get out of this world. And remember, heaven is better than what we're going through now. Be ready. Everybody's not going to go right away, but he said, the, the, the righteous perish, and no man lay it a heart. He delivered them from that which is to come. And remember, something more may come. Yes. But if you keep you here, get ready. He's going to bless you and keep you and take care of you. Yeah, amen. The Lord is our shepherd. Hallelujah. The Lord knows how to deliver us. Remember, he's able to supply all of your needs according to his riches. Amen. He is our provider. The Lord knows what we need. Yes, he does. And he knows how to provide for us. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let the world discourage you. Don't let the world put you in a vacuum. Look for the Lord to come. He knows how to provide for us. God bless you. That God open doors to you. He can do what he say. Yes. God bless. Can we say amen? We thank God for Bishop and this message right now. We don't want to forget on um, our Giblify um, for your tithe and for your offering. Giblify is Clinton Street, Greater Bethlehem Temple. 
The cash app is dollar sign Clinton ST Greater. Also, you can call in your debit on Monday and Wednesdays, 313-361-1110. We have water. <laughs> yes, sir, Bishop. We have clothing. Someone to baptize you. You must be born again. Hallelujah. You can't go with what they told you. You're all right. You've got to be born again. You say, you're all right. You're not the word. Yes, just believe in your heart. Yes. Jesus said, you must be born again of water and spirit. And his word is forever settled. And remember, my friend, there's three things you have to be careful of. The past truth, the present truth, and future truth. And all of the truth of God remains true. But we're now, as Peter said, we're now, the Lord has given us the present truth. And a man can be free from everlasting condemnation. God bless you. In Jesus' name. If you want to, we'll baptize you. We'll find a time and place to meet you. That you must have the Holy Spirit. You got to be filled with it. Yes, and you Lord. must. Hallelujah. God bless. Amen. If you want to be baptized or even if you want the Holy Ghost, you can call the church at 313-361-1110. Again, 313-361-1110. The tithe the offerings, Giblify, Clinton Street, Greater Bethlehem Temple, the Cash App, dollar sign, Clinton ST Greater, or you can mail it in to 2901 Rochester Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48206. Or you can call on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 4, and they will do a debit over the telephone, 313-361-1110. And we'll be having prayer on tomorrow night on the conference call from 7 to 8. Conference call from 7 to 8 on Mondays and Tuesdays prayer. And on Wednesday, uh, 7 p.m. Bible class. You don't want to miss this Bible class on seven at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. At this time, we'll have a word of encouragement from Dr. Clark. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. When we think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for us, my soul cries out, hallelujah, praise God for saving us. Lord, we thank you for the word today. We thank you for thy loving kindness and tender mercy. Continue to bless us. Lord, bless us and keep us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We send blessing, healing, faith, and deliverance. To all who are at the sound of my voice, God bless you. At this time, we have uh, final remarks from our pastor, Bishop Clark. Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call on him while he's near. He's coming, and he's passing by. When I say to all, and when I say to one and all, don't let him.